Hello, we're here at Eminent, the annual conference organized by European Schoolnet, where we bring together experts in STEM education from the public sector at European, national, and regional level, the edtech industry, schools, and other thought leaders in education. This year, scientists and STEM education are taking center stage to discuss how education in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is necessary to build a better future for Europe and the world. Of course, at scientists, we know that there can be no progress unless we bring everyone to the table. And so the Scientists STEM Alliance initiatives make sure that we bring collaborators from the industry and education together. We spoke to Dee Bradshaw from Microsoft who attended the event. Why is it important for industry to engage with education and initiatives such as the STEM Alliance and also participate in discussions and events such as Eminent? Yeah, there's a couple of reasons, really. I think, first of all, it's important for industries to engage to be able to drive innovation and, and having a partnership um, at an event like Eminent enables us to do that. I think it's important also that we have an opportunity to um, encourage and, and uh, participate in helping the students to prepare for their future careers. And part of that is bringing cutting edge technology into their learning environment that also helps not just the the students, but also the teachers in terms of engaging for the, uh, the practical aspects that they will have going forward. I think also what's important from an industry perspective is Microsoft can play a role in helping bridging the skills gap and ensuring that students have what they need to be successful in, a, in an evolving and rapidly changing world. So what is the topic that you're most excited to discuss here at Eminent? So the topic that I think interests me most is the role of AI in transforming education. We have a great opportunity to provide impact not just on the personalized learning experience that AI can afford to students, but also driving admin efficiencies. And of course, that personalized learning experience enables the opportunity to provide teachers time to focus on their superpower, which is how they enable students to maximize their potential through coaching and spending targeted one-to-one -one time with, with the students. Addressing the concerns around AI is also important. We need to make sure that they're used not just ethically and, and responsible, but also promoting a um, a fairness in terms of their usage. And at Microsoft, we have the tools and resources available to help students and teachers in that digital transformation journey and helping them navigate that pathway to ensure success, not just for now, but also in their future endeavors. Thank you very much. That was very inspiring. So I wish you a good conference and see you later out there. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the conference. One of the key topics at Eminent was how to achieve true gender equality in STEM education and STEM careers. I was very excited to moderate a roundtable discussion, and right now I am able to talk to one of the participants. Morning. From your experience, can you give us one inspiring message for te teachers to help girls get into STEM? I think they have to explain them that through technology and engineering science, through the, through the STEM, they can solve problems that they are affecting the society, humans, uh, of things that they are worried about it. No? I think we have to show them that they can care also with technology and solve these problems. And what would you tell the girls? I will tell them that it's okay if you are shy or you have fears, okay? Um, the only, everyone has fears. I have fears. I guess everyone in one moment has fears. But the, the, what I want to tell them is, Embrace this fear and don't allow this fear to stop you. Make this fear to be the trigger and propulse you where you want to be or you want to do because you deserve everything. You have to be in every boardroom, in every, in every project, in every work, in everywhere. You deserve everything and you have only to believe in yourself. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. And under the spotlight is STEAM education, where STEM subjects are integrated with all other subjects in the curriculum, from arts to physical education. We have with us two collaborators of the SEER project to explain more. ICSC is a member of the SEER network that is working towards a European roadmap for integrated STEM education, also called STEAM. Could you tell us why your organization is involved in the SEER project? Yes. So ICSE or ICSE 
was promoting STEM education to improve it on a systematic level and on a practical level for years now. And when we tried to employ STEAM education as a concept, we had much more examples which, could, which attracted young people. So for example, we mixed up escape rooms with coding, with 3D designing and um, storytelling. And we learned that we got people who are usually disinterested in STEM education before to our activities and really after that had a much more positive attitude to STEM at all. That's very interesting. Um, and why are you excited to participate at Eminent today? Now, when you want to change the educational landscape, which is absolutely necessary at the moment, when you look at the results of PISA or other studies. So when you really try to change something, you don't, it's not only necessary to talk to teachers or to educators, to researchers, to policymakers, but to all together. We, we are educational experts. We may think or may have understood how we can teach optimally. However, we do not know if this aligns with the uh, needs of the policies and the needs of the industries, and we have to find to, uh, a solution together. Thank you so much. I hope you can gather people at Eminent and have Thank interesting you. conversations. Thank you Thank for you. having me. The European STEM Coalition is part of the SEER network, working towards a European roadmap for integrated STEM education. Could you tell us why it is important to be part of the SEER? Yes. Well, it's very important that the SEER looks at this broad definition of STEM or, or STEAM, as we call it, because we think it's important that more children find STEM and STEAM attractive. And we know that having the context of STEM uh, make it broader, uh, we, we reach a larger group of people, especially girls and maybe some other groups that are underrepresented. So it's, it's important to, to look at this broader uh, way of looking at STEM. And why is it important for you to be specifically here at Eminent? Well, here are so many people coming together from policy, from uh, the European Commission, from all the countries that are involved. And this is an important issue for, for Europe. So we need a lot of people to be, uh, to be involved because we need all the partners of the triple helix. We need industry and companies, we need government, we need education. So it's important that we have all these groups together and it's nice to interact. And I hear a lot of things that we think about now similar. As, as compared to maybe five or ten years ago. So I think we are reaching a next level of cooperating and also having the same uh, knowledge base. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and happy holidays. Welcome to another Science in Action. As always, I recommend you to fill in the form to submit your experiment ideas that you can find in the description. And we have Dr. Christina Egyan. Hi. Mr. Science Man. Hello, Christina. Happy holidays, girl. Okay, are you excited for today's experiment? So excited. We are going to make a snow globe. <gasps> snow globes. Okay, so let's see the materials that we need for our snow globe. Uh, we just need a beaker, a spoon, a small jar, some acid, isn't it, Christina? Benzoic acid. Don't worry, kids, it's safe. Just don't eat it. <laughs> right. We also need a small scale or balance and a kettle to heat some water. So the first thing that we have to do is to pour some water, which we have previously heated, and it's going to be 200 milliliters. Correct. So, empty over here. Yeah. And now we need the, the acid, isn't it? Exactly. We need an exact quantity of benzoic acid. We need one gram for every 100 milliliters of water. So how much do we need now, Mr. Scientix man? I guess two. Excellent. That's correct. So we put something on our balance and then we are going to weigh exactly 202 grams. Two grams. Yeah. Of benzoic <laughs> acid. And we add it to the water. And then we have to steer, 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 steer. steer, steer. steer. Yeah. So we do like that and it's going to fade away little by little, isn't it? Like, dissolve. It's going to dissolve in the water, but we need really boiling water for this. So we might need some help from a microwave. So now, when the acid is gone, we have to put it in the jar. Exactly. So just like that. You have to fill it as much as possible. Perfect. 
Now we need to let it cool down so that the excess acid can come out of the solution and mm -hmm. make beautiful snowflakes. We'll just cover it lightly and wait. When the water has cooled down and after a little bit of time has passed, we can see that actually flakes have been formed. Beautiful crystals yeah. have formed. So what happens is that water can only hold a certain amount of solid, mm -hmm. but when it gets hotter, it can hold more. So what we did is we used more benzoic acid than the water can hold at room temperature. And oh. so snowflakes are forming. It's amazing. That was all for today. We wish you a happy holidays and see you again for more Science in Action. Happy holidays!